Nodded into New York State's troubled unemployment system is finally done. It found at least $11 billion was lost to scammers in 2020 alone. Since the pandemic started, News to NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey has been investigating all the issues with unemployment. Tonight, she breaks down what the audit found. New York State Comptroller Tom DiNapoli told me he was auditing the state's unemployment system nearly a year ago. So what took so long to get to today? You know, our, our, our role at the control Office is to promote better government, more efficient government, accountability, but we need transparency to get the information to do all of that. That, that was an issue here, and, that, and that's why it took so long. Jennifer, you were very persistent in asking me all the time, where is it, where is it, where is it, where's the audit? We needed, you know, we finally just did pencils down. The information DOL did provide shows that during the first year of the pandemic, it lost at least $11 billion to scammers. That's the floor of what, what we lost. I'm sure that number actually in reality is much higher. Why didn't they provide that, and what should we make of that? I mean, you're, you're right on point with the question. It, it certainly has been a great source of frustration uh, to us is if they're going to be effective in recovering uh, some of this money, hopefully all of it, but at least some of it, they, they, need to, they need to know what the exact dollar amounts are. I've previously reported that the state was using a 40-year-old system, MS-DOS, to process claims. That system simply couldn't keep up, and auditors found that DOL used workarounds that essentially threw the door wide open to scammers. As months went on, uh, it was very clear that there were problems, particularly with regard to fraud, particularly with regard to identity theft. And even when the federal government put uh, guardrails or controls in place, the state lagged in doing the same. By the time they did, 80% of the federal tax dollars used to fund pandemic unemployment programs was gone. The state's traditional unemployment fund needs replenishment too, and that falls on the backs of businesses in New York. But if they have to raise their prices on goods and services to pay for it, well, that, that, that affects us as, as consumers. Well, the commissioner of the Department of Labor has said more than $36 billion in fraudulent claims has been prevented, auditors say the department did not show any supporting documentation to prove it. They need to be on top of it. It's why they need to have a modern system. They need to update that system. They need to figure out what the scammers are doing to, to penetrate the controls that are in place because if folks think they can rip off a system, they're going to keep trying to do it. Jennifer Lukey, News 10 NBC.